Hi guys and welcome to my music room. We're going to do an activity to warm up today. It's called I Had a Little Pig. Uh, teachers, I found this in Camille Queensland's resource called Musical Beginnings, an amazing resource. If you haven't had it, you can purchase it from their website. Here's the activity, I had a little pig. I had a little pig, I fed him from a trough. He got so fat that his tail popped off. I got me a hammer, I got me a nail, and I made my pig a brand new tail. This is how I hammer my tail. Now what's going to happen boys and girls is I'm going to clap a pattern and then I'd like you to try and clap it back. You're allowed to make mistakes and you're allowed to get it wrong, but don't give up. Try, try, try and never give up. Okay, standing up on your feet. See if you can copy the actions here as I go. I had a little pig, I fed him from a trough. He got so fat that his tail popped off. I got me a hammer. I got me a nail and I made my pig a brand new tail. This is how I hammer my tail. My turn first, make sure you're listening. Ta, ta, ta. Here you go. How did you go? Did you get that tricky czar in there at the end? Let's do another one. I had a little pig, I fed him from a trough. He got so fat that his tail popped off. I got me a hammer, I got me a nail, and I made my pig a brand new tail. This is how I hammer my tail. Tee tee ta, tee tee ta. Was that a bit easier? Let's do another one. I had a little pig, I fed him from a trough. He got so fat that his tail popped off. I got me a hammer, I got me a nail, and I made my pig a brand new tail. This is how I hammer my tail. Tee 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 ta ta. Make sure you're saying the rhythms as you clap them. Tee 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 ta ta. Makes it easier to clap, doesn't it? Let's do one more. I had a little pig, I fed him from a trough. He got so fat that his tail popped off. I got me a hammer, I got me a nail, and I made my pig a brand new tail. This is how I hammer my tail. Tee tee ta ta. That zar's a little bit tricky, let's do it together. Here we go. Tee tee ta ta. Nice work, boys and girls. Can you please sit down for me? Make sure your legs are crossed, your hands are still, your feet are still, your eyes are listening, and your eyes are watching. That's good whole body listening. So now we've done our warm up game, I had a little pig. We're going to start using some instruments to play our rhythms. I've got some instruments here ready to go. I've got my guiros, my maracas, my, some triangles, and some rhythm sticks. Let's practice our rhythms first before we put them on our instruments. Make sure you're sitting ready, your legs are crossed, your feet are still, your hands are still, your eyes are watching, and your ears are listening. That's good whole body listening. Here's my first card. Can you clap and say the rhythms with me? Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Here's the next one. Here we go. Ti, 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 ta, ta. Oh, this one's got a tricky czar in there. Remember for czar, you can put your hands out to the side like they're having a rest, or you can put your fingers on your lips to show that there's no sound. You ready? Here we go. Ta, ta, ta. How'd you go with that czar? Did you put a sound on that czar? Let's try it again. Here we go. Ta, ta, ta. There's two tricky czars in this one. Don't get tricked. You ready? Here we go. Ta, ta. How did you go with that one? Should we try it one more time? You ready? Here we go. Ta, ta. Your teacher might have some other flashcards in your room that you could practice before we get our instruments out. So now each one of my instruments are going to play one of these rhythms. I'm having a think about which rhythm is going to work best with which card. Hmm. Perhaps in your classroom, you could separate into four different groups and decide what rhythm you're going to play on each instrument. Hmm. Okay. My guiro is the instrument on my top box, so I'm going to get them down to play first. 
Now a Guiro has two holes and that's where your fingers go. And then I've got my Guiro stick here and I'm just gonna scrape up and down. That's how I make the sound on a Guiro. Better choose a rhythm to play on my Guiro. I think, I think I'm gonna play my easy one because that way I can just keep the beat and scrape it on my Guiro. So it will sound like this. Ta, 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 ta. I like that. I'm gonna try that with the music. What do you think? Should we change it? Should we keep it the same? Could we perhaps change instruments? How creative could you be? The next instrument in my tower is my maracas. Now maracas can be a little bit tricky to play a rhythm on. You might like to hold it in a hand and tap it into your rhythm, into your hand. Or you might like to shake it in the air. It makes a different sound. Musicians quite often experiment with sound to find the one they like. What sound do you like? I'm going to play an easy rhythm on my maraca. I'm going to play this one here because I can just go ta, za, ta, za, ta, za, ta, za. And if I get a second maraca, I can even do something a little bit tricky like this. Ta, za, ta, za, ta, za, ta, za. Let's try that with the music. we do something different with that? Could we use a different instrument or could we use a different ry rhythm on our maracas? Hmm. How creative can you be? Let's try another one. My next instrument box has my triangles in it. Now the triangles, you need three parts to play a triangle. You need the triangle. You need a loopy bit. If you don't have a plastic loop, you might have a ribbon. And then you need the beta, okay? Now the triangle, can you see how it's got a broken bit down the bottom? I tell my kids that we need that down the bottom so that this music can come out. And we get this beautiful ring. If you don't have the loop and you're holding onto your triangle like this, we get this sound. Now that might be the sound that you're looking for. Remember, musicians experiment with sound to find the one that they like. So which sound are you looking for today? The open sound? or the close sound. Maybe you could be creative and alternate the sounds. Mm. Today I'm going to use an open sound and I'm going to play this card here. Ta, 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 za. Here's what it will sound like. Let's try that with the music. Our last instrument today that I have got out, you might have some different ones, the last one that I've got out is my rhythm sticks. Now my rhythm sticks, I've only got one rhythm card left, do you remember which one it was? My tricky one with all the TTs. T, 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 Ta, Ta. And I saved it for last on purpose because this one's an easy one to play on the rhythm sticks. I'm going to need two of them. Two rhythm sticks. I've got some green ones. That's my favorite color. Here, now when you're holding your rhythm sticks, remember to put your fingers down the bottom and wrap them up with your thumbs so that you don't hit your fingers. Okay, remember we need to be safe. I'm gonna make the letter X when I play. Here's my rhythm. 
Let's try that with the music, hey? Here I go. Okay, so now we've done some practicing with different rhythms. I wonder how creative you can be. Can you choose a rhythm for each instrument and create an ostinato to go for each part of the song? Remember there are four different parts in the song. The verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, and the tag. Will you do a different ostinato for each part or will you layer them differently in, in each part? How creative could you be? Once you've put something together, I wonder if you could record it and share that with the rest of your school. Off you go, be creative. Remember you're allowed to make mistakes and you're allowed to get it wrong, but try, try, try and never give up. Off you go, be creative. Bye.